Hello everybody. Now this video will teach you how to use the functions, the two functions. We call it head map editing in ROM and head map editing in RAM. Before we start everything, we just need to, to learn the head map edit in ROM is used for hard drive refurbishing purpose. You cannot use this one for data recovery. Anyway, the head map editing in RAM. RAM, they know it's called the cache. This one is used for data recovery when one or two heads or some heads of the hard drive are weak or damaged but not totally damaged. Because if totally damaged, you must change the head. Otherwise, the damaged head may scratch the platters. So, head map editing RAM is used for data recovery. If you edit the head map in ROM, the hard drive cannot be detected or the data error cannot be accessed. Remember. Now let's enter the program. Power on the hard drive. When users power on the hard drive, you must check if the hard drive is spinning or not, is clinking or not. If it has typical or obvious clinking, scratching noises, if this happens, it is head damage. So users don't need to go further with the firmware repair program. You must bring the hard drive to the clean room and open the hard drive and swap the heads. Now the drive gets ready. When the drive gets ready, users can possibly use the head map in RAM. But if the drive cannot get ready, you cannot use the head map editing in RAM. Now let's try. Now we have get the hard drive ID details. Here we can check the head map, the head map tree. Head 0 and head 1. Now this head map is from the ROM. Click OK. Now ROM operations. We can see one function here under the common menu. Head map editing RAM. So we can see the RAM has been loaded to the drive successfully, and then the program can access to the RAM successfully. Sometimes users may not get these head map settings, and the program display failed to get this map data. So at this time, the possible reasons are that the drives are very weak on the heads and the hard drive ID information and the head map information cannot be loaded successfully or correctly to the catch, I mean to the RAM. So users cannot get this head map. Mostly, users can get this head map information. Sometimes the head map starting address is not correct. Users can start to correct this by select the one, two, and users will get different head map information. But for this one, it's correct. The head map information is correct. Head zero, head one, two heads. 
So if users want to change the head map here, users can change 1 to 0. Click OK and then we can see here head data save success. So when users check this one, users don't need to do anything else more. The RAM head map have been saved successfully. So if users want to read data again at this time, users just create the program Remember, never power of the drive. For all the hard drive data edited in the RAM, if you power off the hard drive, the modification will be lost. So you just create the main program and start from here again. Read, auto get detail again, and then users will get new data. Now let's check if it is successful a lot. Come on, head map 18 RAM. Now we can see that the head map has been changed from 0, 1 to 0, 0. That means the program will read data only from the head zero but you cannot edit the head map in wrong because at this time although we just see head zero zero but the program will still consider the drive have two heads we just read head zero head zero but two heads if you edit the head map in wrong here for example if you untick the head one if the head one is damaged or very weak you untick it the program or the hard drive will consider the drive has only one head left it doesn't match the original head number and the drive won't get ready so remember, this is the difference. This one, the head map added in the ROM, this one is used to cut head for refurbishing purpose. Because after cut the head here, users need to do a lot of steps to get the drive recognized and get the data error accessed. Users need to run auto arco, users need to run self-test to get this drive working again. But if you run the auto arco and self-test, this one is to refurbish the hard drive and is to destroy the data. No data will be remained. So, the ROM head map editing is for refurbishing. You cannot use this one for data recovery purpose. The only possible thing we may use there, you here for data recovery is that we can test. For example, the drive is clinking now. I unclick the head one, click edit. Now edit success, now only hit zero. At this time, I can power off and power on and check if the drive is clinking or not. If it's still clinking, that means the head one is not damaged or it can be the head zero damage because the head, the hard drive is still clean. But if you untick the head one, the drive stop clinking. 
that means the head one is empty because you have unticked it. But at this time, you can see the drive cannot get ready anymore because the head number has changed. The drive cannot read the information. The ROM contents have also been changed. So we must enter the program and change the head map back. Take the head one back. Click edit. Edit success. So these operations are working in the ROM. So even if the drive are not detected, you can operate on it too. So this is the head map editing in ROM. Now we can power off and power on again and check. Now the drive gets ready after we change the head map back to the original head map. Now let's talk about the head map editing in RAM. When do we use the head map editing in RAM? So when users find out the head one or some head here is damaged, we just need to change the head map to the good one. For example, if one had one standard is very weak and cause the clinking noises, we just change the one to zero. And then after this one the drive gets ready and gets well detected and its data array is also accessed. So at this time, after we change the head map in RAM, we just simply switch to the DFL DDP data recovery program. But remember, don't power off. We just go to the DFL C panel. SATA 0, we go to SATA 0. Okay, let's open this one. DDP SATA 0. Yes. Occupy this channel. At this time, we have only had 0, had 0. But still two heads, remember. It's not one head, it's two heads. Just we don't read the head 1, the damaged head. So we just simply set up the new project, left step, disk image, and image to file. Next. So at this time, we set up the disk image by head. Now Western Digital. Now at this time, we are setting up the head map for disk image. So even at this time, the program will not read the head one during the head map imaging setup. If users go to use the disk image by selective head directly without changing the head map in RAM, this is okay, but this will add to the risk of damaging the heads further during this head map setup process. So if we use the head map editing in RAM, this will further protect the damaged head, will reduce the risk of scratching the platters. So this function is very useful. When you find out some head is damaged, 
Some head is clinking. And for the second seminal, we can see that if the hard drive platter is scratched, this function can be also used because you need to cut the head after the head is wrapped. For example, if the top surface is scratched, you must cut the top head and then you can install the dollar head to the pension drive. Otherwise, the scratched platter will destroy the dollar heads immediately. So at this time, users still need to change the head map in RAM. You must change the top heads to the neighbor good head. So this function head map editing in RAM it's used a lot. It's used a lot when some heads are very weak or some heads are damaged or when the hard drive platter is scratched. You must use this function. So head map editing in RAM is for data recovery. And head map Adding ROM is for hard drive refurbishing. At this time, when we recover the head one, it will be problem. Now we just read head zero, then it will be okay. Because head head one has been untipped, has been changed to head zero. This is why we cannot read the head one. We just simply untick here. Then the program will read head zero only. Remember, the disk image by selective heads must be used correctly with the head map editing in RAM. Thank you for watching this video.